This is part four to the pegboard book toy tutorial for grade six. In the previous video, we completed the leg and showed you how to change the appearance of your parts. In this video, we're going to talk about creating the mallet. Uh, the mallet has a handle of one inch by seven inches. The mallet head itself is a 1.7 inch diameter that is three inches in height with a one inch centered hole that is one inch deep. We're gonna go through the mallet handle first. So I'm gonna create a sketch. I'm gonna choose that top plane again. I'm gonna orientate myself and I'm gonna grab my circle tool and I'm going to create a one inch circle. And I'm going to extrude this piece seven inches. So we can see now I have that mallet handle created. The next thing I'm going to do is create my mallet head. So I'm going to grab the sketch tool and I want to choose either the front or the right side plane on this one. Uh, I'm going to choose the front plane here and I'm going to click to orientate myself. Now for this part, if it becomes too distracting to have all your other parts up here, remember you can come up here to the eye tool if need be. And what I'm going to do is draw the uh, side profile of my mallet. So I'm going to grab my line tool and I'm going to draw, start off with the height and I'm going to make a three inch line. Then I know that the radius of this part is going to be a half of my 1.75, which gives me 0.875 inches. Now, I'm going to hit my escape button or right click and click escape and go to the top here. And I'm going to create that same 0.875 inch line. And what I have now is the side profile. This is where as a designer, you can kind of have some fun. The back half of this, you can design in any shape that you'd like. The only rules are, is you have to give us that center area to drill a hole for the mallet handle. And your lines cannot overlap and they have to have a closed drawing. I know I have a closed drawing because I get that shading of blue here. So you're gonna say that looks like a pretty weird part. And if I click on my extrude button, you're gonna say that does not look like any mallet handle that you've seen before. That's because I don't want to extrude this part. What I'm going to choose on this part is next to the extrude button, you have the revolve button. And what you're going to notice is this front face is selected. We can see it here in the revolve menu, but we have an error here. And the error shows up in red. And what it says is we don't have an axis to revolve our face around. So I'm going to click on revolve axis, and I'm going to choose that three inch line that I created. And that is being my center axis, which I can then allow to revolve my part around. Green check mark to finish. What you can see now is we have both of our uh, parts to our mallet, but we need to join them together. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a hole and uh, affix your handle to that hole. 